guys, so as I promised, here is another video that is an apartment decorating tutorial. And it's not only decorating, but it's also a necessity, and it is curtains. Because the way our apartment windows face during the afternoon, the sun just like beats in through the windows, even with mini blinds. And it can get really hot and just super bright to the point where you can't even read your laptop screen. And so today I'm going to show how to make curtains that will help solve that kind of problem. So here's the tutorial. So as you probably know, there are several different types of curtains. And I'm going to be showing how to do curtains that have tabs that they hang from instead of just a casing because I think it looks a little bit classier. And for my material, I will be using a upcycled sheet that I got at the thrift store for $2.50. It's a queen size, so I'm only going to be using about half of it, which is $1.25 worth of the material. And then I'm going to be hanging my curtain from a curtain rod that I purchased for $3 at a garage sale. So for under 5 bucks, I'm going to have a really cool curtain that I can say that I made myself and the curtain rod to hang it from. Before you can make a curtain, you need a few different measurements. First, you need to measure the width of your window and the length of your window. Since I'm using a sheet, I'm going to use one of the finished edges as my hem because it has a little decorative piping on it. So I don't have to figure in any extra length for a hem. But if you're not using something with a pre-made hem, then you need to add in a few inches there. So I'm going to add in a one inch seam allowance for each side of my curtain three extra inches just for leeway so I'll have plenty of coverage on my window and then one inch for the seam allowance at the top which means I need to cut my piece 40 inches wide and 61 inches long. I'll also need to make seven tabs for my curtain. I want my finished tabs to be one and a half inch wide and then the full length of it to be six inches because I'm going to be folding it in half. So I will need to cut seven pieces that are four inches wide and seven and a half inches long by the time I fold it and have seam allowance. I'll also need one piece that is the width of my full curtain piece by two inches in length. The materials you'll need for your curtain project are cutting tools, straight pens, matching thread, measuring tools, and a cutting mat is really handy on this. You'll also need fabric, an iron, and a sewing machine. Start by laying your material out flat. To save time and energy, I'm placing mine on the 61 inch mark so that I can just cut along the edges of my cutting mat. To keep the fabric in place, push straight pins through the fabric and into the carpet along the outer edges. Cut out this large piece of fabric, set it aside. Then cut your piece that is two inches by the width of your curtain. Then fold your leftover fabric in half and cut your tab pieces. At your sewing machine, fold the tabs in half lengthwise, right sides together, and sew using a half inch seam allowance. Turn right side out and press with the seam a little bit to one side. Then fold in half with the seam on the inside and sew close to the edge. Now onto the larger piece. Fold the edge of the long sides over one half inch and then over again and pen. Iron this fold and sew down both sides. Like I mentioned before, if you have a fabric with an unfinished top and bottom, now would be the time to hem it. Fold the top edge of your curtain over one inch and iron. Lay out your tabs equally spaced 
Hem the short edges of the two inch strip like you did the large curtain piece and lay that strip right side down lined up with the bottom edge of the tabs. Pen through all the layers at each tab. Sew a straight line about one half inch from the lower edge. Turn and iron the fold. Then turn the raw edge up about half an inch to three quarters of an inch and iron. Sew down the short edge all the way across and up the other short edge. To get a straighter line, I'm sewing from the front side and just feeling where the fold is as my guideline. And ta-da! No raw edges to be seen. Well, I hope you liked the tutorial and found it useful and hopefully you can make some curtains for yourself. And if you do, please let me know. Send me a picture because I like to see what people are making. So um, I will have another tutorial up soon and I will see you then. Bye.